I love it. I love it. Time to lose some brain cells, baby. I'm excited for this. All right. According to Tim Pool and the Daily Mail and Tim Smart Man Pool. Wow, those I know those glasses are on his face, but don't they look like they look photoshopped? Maybe it's just on my screen, but man, they look photoshopped on his face. They don't look like they're actually sitting there. It, that that's something else, man. I'm sure they're really there. I know he wears reading glasses sometimes. It's just, you know, they look fake, dude. That's wild. All right. Tim Pool. Pool watch time. Biden. Caught in leaked emails. Working with Hunter on shady China deal. Biden corruption exposed. All right, let's check it out. You know, I agree. Tim Pool might not be real, too. Maybe he lives in Memphis and it's all imaginary. <laughs> uh, OK, all right. Timmy boy, what you got for us? Joe Biden lied. We all know he lied at this point because the story just keeps getting worse. But Biden claimed that he had no idea what was going on with Hunter Biden's business. He didn't work with them. And new emails have <gasps> been released showing that <gasps> Joe Biden was directly involved this is not just Joe Biden talking to his son about business. This is Joe Biden literally working with his son on selling natural gas to China in 2017. Uh, ah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh. You guys, you guys know what, what Biden was in 2017 he was a fucking civilian in 2017 joe biden didn't hold any public office he was out of the vp seat in 2016 you can't abuse power if you don't have power anymore fuck God damn it. All right, I'm going <sighs> to. Jesus, I, I don't. <sighs> I just don't get it, man. How do you like, how do you where do you get this from? Where does your brain explode from to be like this? Now, you may say, Tim, I don't know why that matters. How is that corruption? Well, it all ties together, especially with what is going on in Ukraine. And I have to wonder if the hundred billion dollars sent over to Ukraine is basically Joe Biden paying them off. It is a long and intricate story. And I. The psychic attacks have got to stop. What? Oh, God, I'm dying. My brain is going to explode, guys. Joe Biden must have known that Russia was going to invade. He must have convinced Putin to invade. That way he could, under false pretenses, send billions of dollars in taxpayer money to make up for deals that he signed while not president or vice president. Okay, all right, I'm... I'm just, I'm gonna let him do it. It's just fuck me, dude. I I was not ready. I do believe this is more evidence of corruption. It's hard to know exactly of what's going on do. in Biden world, but as I often mention, Politico magazine reported on a story they called Biden Inc. How the fortunes of the Biden family tracked alongside his position in office, his responsibilities. Notably, sure. that when Joe Biden was placed in charge. OK, so what he's going to say right now, what we're looking at right now is that Joe Biden and his family made more money. While Joe Biden was in office. That is likely true with every human that has ever held public office. If I'm holding public office, right right now, my mom's income is like zero. She's on social security and she works a, a little job uh, taking care of uh, special needs people, right? 
my mom's income is like less than twenty thousand or thirty thousand dollars a year easy minimum right if i became president tomorrow if i was president tomorrow people would want to talk to my mom and she could charge them money to she could charge them more than a year's wage that she makes right now just to speak to these people end of story so like it's not necessarily a good thing that getting that power in congress or in um you know the presidency like that tracks to power but it does for everyone right L like literally everyone anyone that's ever been in power outside of maybe trump actually because oof man he uh he's got a rocky past with his wealth in general of the war in Iraq, his brother got lucrative construction contracts. Then we get to right. Hunter Biden. Y'all know the story about 10% for the big guy. The assumption is the big guy is Joe Biden. There's a word in there, isn't there? The uh, assumption. Huh. Weird. Maybe um, prove it. Don't assume it. You know what happens when you assume, right, Tim? Right? I believe it was Tony Bobulinski, a confidant of the family who worked with them, who said, yeah, they were giving Joe Biden kickbacks. But now the story is so much more. Private equity deals in China, private energy deals with China. Joe Biden in these emails directly involved. So all right. So I want you to notice, like, he's going through all of this. He's prefacing all of this to, like, get his his audience riled up before he looks at the article and i'll be impressed you know sometimes he does a lot of times homeboy doesn't even read the article so yeah <clears throat> if i got into office our family's fortune would increase the presidential only fans account would pop off uh yeah oh yeah oh yeah uh, especially if you're uh, one of the young ones, you know. Hey, all right. No, nah, I don't. I don't want to see Dark Brandon on OnlyFans. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> but now nah, he's priming his audience to be upset before he reads the article, and I'm hoping he actually reads the article. Exclusive, all in the family. Joe Biden is named in 2017 email discussing multi-million dollar gas deal with China, with Louisiana lawyer writing to brother Jim that he arranged a call with former VP and his son Hunter to discuss the purchase. So Jim, Joe's brother, Jim, has a deal going on with China, and then a lawyer says that Jim arranged a call with Hunter and Joe to discuss whether or not he should purchase it. Now we're going to listen, but like all of this seems like literally fine outside of the fact that it's like, you know, gas and oil, you know, I'd prefer if he got caught up in like a, uh, you know, green energy deal or whatever, but he won't because he's not like, us, you know, it's okay. So this all, go, this all goes back. It goes back for a very, very long time. Back. Obviously, everything's connected. But we have the story of the Qatar Turkey connected. pipeline that I want to walk you through so you can understand exactly right. what is going on. Now, some speculate this whole story is about the United States wanting to get cheap natural gas from Qatar through Syria and Turkey into Europe to compete with the Gazprom gas monopoly. Effectively, Russian natural gas being sold at exorbitant prices to Europe. Yes. Uh, right now, OPEC, uh, OPEC plus now that Russia's in it, it they're the plus, I guess, control something like 91% of all natural gas, right? All oil and natural gas in, in the world, like 91% of everything that we, the idea is that do. Europe needs cheap energy to expand the economy and their capabilities to compete with the Chinese economic bloc. Now, if that were true, why would Joe Biden be working deals to transfer energy from Louisiana to China? I don't know. Why don't we read the fucking article and see if that's what he's doing? Multi-million dollar gas deal with China. With Louisiana lawyer writing to brother Jim that he arranged a call. So what is it? 
In 2017, Hunter and his uncle Joe's brother Jim were brokering a multi-million dollar deal to supply gas from Louisiana to China. Okay, there we have it. Okay, good stuff. So it is there. So just quick, quick question on this one. Is China in OPEC? Iran, Kuwait, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, Qatar, Indonesia, Libya, the United Arab Emirates, Algeria, Nigeria, Ecuador, Gabon, Angola? I've never heard of Angola before. This is my Americentrism. Equatorial Guinea and the Congo. So, no China. Weird. So, you're telling me that, like, China's not part of the collective that owns 90% of all of our oil? Maybe that has nothing to do with the gas prices in Europe. Now, I could be wrong. Generally, I'm decent with numbers, but I'm pretty sure 90% probably wouldn't leave a lot. I mean, it's got to be like at seven or eight, right? <laughs> It's okay, man. Again, like this is this is the thing is that if you track the people and you just follow names or whatever, you're like, oh my god, what's going on? China, China, China. But like doing some research into what the actual economic situation is over there, you'll be blown away. Seems like he's undermining US national security. How? How? How is that happening? If we're shi if we're shipping oil from Louisiana to China, China is paying for it. We're not giving it to them. That's not undermining national security. W what? Exporting goods is now fucking undermining the U. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Like if I sell an American flag to a Chinese man, am I fucking undercutting American security interests? <laughs> like what are we doing this is so dumb dude i wish i could be on his side i don't like i don't like joe biden all right i'm not a big fan okay and if he did illegal shit if he was actually using his status as vice president when he was vice president to do things that are shady and illegal potentially throw the man in prison right do the same with trump both of them they're all criminals right throw them all in prison i don't give a damn but you can't come in with this half-baked conspiracy tinfoil shit and be like, oh, and everyone knows it's true. Everyone, everyone knows it's true. Jesus. And then we get the Nord Stream 2 story, something that would embolden Russia's control of natural gas oh flow into Europe, and it gets blown up. Yes. You Why? Know, I got to admit, my friends, I can only scratch the surface of who blew up Nord Stream. Are, are you going to talk about it? Okay. Publicly available news. And I'm sure those that have special clearances know so much more about this. But I think it's important you understand that Joe Biden, at least according to this, uh, these reports, is not to be trusted and in all likelihood is compromising our national security. I think How? this is. How? How? Please, for the love of God. Like, I, I get it. I understand that, like, you think that Joe Biden's a bad guy. I get that if he's, like, doing actual shady things, that he needs to be held accountable. But what is he doing that is undermining American democracy or, or security interests? What is it? Because if all he's doing is being part of a deal that sells our gas and oil to China or whatever, right, then we're making money off of it. That's just exporting. That is just exports, right? Especially in 2017 when gas prices were doing fine. Before the pandemic, we didn't have high gas prices because there was no fucking supply chain issue. There was no war between two of the largest producers of fucking oil in the area. Like, it, it doesn't make sense to say that this is happening, that there's some security interest 
issue here, right? Like, it, it just doesn't. All right. Please system explain. is crumbling down all around us. I don't think that Joe Biden is part of some deep state that secretly wants to shore up the American empire. I think he's gutting it. I think the allies of Biden have seen the, the Titanic hit the iceberg and have decided before anybody finds out to take as much fine China and silverware as they can load it up into one of the one of the safety boats, lifeboats and GTFO before people panic and realize the ship is sinking. I just want you to know that regardless of whatever dipshit here is saying, he just outright said that America is failing. And uh, that's a fun idea to just say that you, you think that America is such a weak, pathetic country that some old dude is able to like single handedly sink it. I just want to know, like, how patriotic can you be if that's what you think? Right. Like you're like America it's so weak and pathetic that Joe Brandon and his sissy little wussies could sink the whole thing. They could ruin America. We'll be China part two. That doesn't track with America being the greatest country on the planet, does it, buddy? Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm looking into this because I thought it was just Ukraine that did it, but I'm looking. <laughs> Because the Nord Stream, like, it, it wasn't U.S. intelligence that blew up the Nord Stream. I can tell you that right now. All right, so it's still a mystery, it looks like. I thought it was like a Ukrainian attack, but I could be wrong. All right, anyway, Nord Stream got blowed, so oopsie doopsie on that one. But I just don't get this. Like, how, how is it a security issue to be selling oil to China? Like, what is the security threat? And that's what he's doing. That's and that's why he's, he's doing. been doing these deals. And that's why they've been doing deals with China. Because the way they see it, the U.S. economy is on the downturn. China's economy is exploding. Why not bet on the winner? So what do they do? Begin transferring assets and working deals with our adversaries. So adversaries so to begin with uh like you don't necessarily have to have adversarial issues with every country out there you just fucking cooperate we're so goddamn dependent on chinese exports right now that uh calling them adversaries is a strange thing to say but it it's okay i get it that like the republican right gets all whipped up about china 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 but like, come on, man, selling them something, especially because they're probably selling it at a higher price than it's worth, right? It's how capitalism works. You sell it at higher than what it's worth. Like it, the, them ripping off China or whatever doesn't seem like a big deal to me. Selling us out. They're not selling out. I believe that's out. how dark things have truly gotten. But let's read the news here. So four minutes in after spending four minutes telling his ravenous dipshit audience that like China's destroying the world America Amer Joe Biden hates America now finally he'll talk about the deal and I'll walk you through the story of the Qatar Turkey pipeline Gazprom the gas monopolies Joe Biden's illicit business dealings illicit that's libel well, slander, since he said, I don't know, is libel, is it libel for videos too, or is it just slander for videos? Either way, that's slander. It's not illicit, right? Unless there's some proof that it's, because I'm, I'm double checking. Maybe I'm the idiot here, but this is why I do this. Illicit, definition, forbidden by law, rule, or custom. That's what I thought. It's a synonym for illegal. So unless it's illegal to do that, in theory, that's a slander case. Illicit business dealings. Nope. Clearly they, I mean, unless there's something in this article that says it was illegal, and if it is illegal, then arrest him. But I bet it wasn't. His son. And uh, how 10% for the big guy really works. Yeah, Before explain we get it, please. For the love of God. For the love of God. Just fucking say, like, 10% for the big guy could be Joe. It could be. It could also be a Chinese dignitary. It could have been fucking Xi Jinping for all we fucking know. It's all right. 
All right, we're skipping over the ad read. And here's the story. Here's the story. Daily Mail exclusive, all in the family. Joe Biden is named in 2017 email discussing multi-million dollar gas deal with China, with Louisiana lawyer writing to brother Jim that he arranged a call with the former VP and his son to discuss the purchase. Now, why would that be? I thought Joe Biden said he wasn't involved in his son's business dealings. Nothing was illicit or unthinkable. He wasn't during the time. He said he wasn't when he was vice president. It just, oh, my God. Like, it's like Tim doesn't understand how the fucking passage of time works. I'm bringing the article up for myself just in case. There we are. Okay. You know. With Louisiana lawyer writing to brother Jim that he arranged a call with the former VP and his son to discuss the purchase. Now, why okay. would that be? I thought Joe Biden said he wasn't involved in his son's he business sure dealings. Wasn't. Nothing was illicit oh or ethical about it. And uh, yeah, then we saw the photos of him with Hunter Biden. Now we have the emails of them organizing meetings together. I just the Daily Mail reports. Bro, I wish I could be this fucking fear mongery. I I ought to do it. I ought to start just fucking doing the same thing and like talking about China all the time or something and making silly hand movements. You know, China is clearly the biggest enemy of the USA. It's not like USA is the biggest buyer of China. Right? Exact. That's what I'm saying. We like China is dependent on us buying their shit, and we are dependent on China selling us shit. Like we're. It's okay. Global global relations is not something anyone on the right understands, and it's it, it's okay. It's all right. Joe Biden was named in the email found on Hunter Biden's laptop discussing a 25 million ton gas deal with China. In October 2017, okay. Hunter and his uncle, Joe's brother Jim Biden, were brokering a multi million dollar deal to supply gas from Louisiana to China on behalf of their business partners, Chinese energy giant CEFC. At the time, Joe Biden had finished his term as vice president and had yet to announce any plans to run for president in 2020. Of course, he still lied all about this. And the story actually gets much bigger, directly involves his time as vice president. Uh, I just want you to notice that. So like we, we saw me read these articles right ahead of time. Like we've seen me read not this article, but other articles like we just covered the Tyree Nichols stuff, right? And I just want you to notice how I wouldn't stop and go, and that's not all. Also, also, there's other stuff that's happening. It's not just th this. You got to read other articles because other things are going to tell you even more is happening. Like, no, you read the article, talk about what's in the article. And then afterwards, you can be like, and there's also speculation of blah, 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 this, that, this, that. Right. But instead, like. Instead of reading the article, understanding what has been reported, what is factual about the case, he has to insert the conspiracism in there every chance he gets. And his time as president. A Louisiana-based lawyer on the other side of the deal wrote in an October 27, 2017 email that he had arranged a call from Joe Biden and Hunter Biden on Monday morning to discuss the purchase of the 5 million tons of gas. Here's the email in question. Dear Jim and Hunter, I confirm that your contact for Chenier Gas, probably pronouncing it wrong, is Chad Whiteside located in the Houston office. His email is redacted. I confirm I have requested him to be available for a call from Joe Biden and Hunter Biden on Monday morning to discuss the purchase of the 5 million tons of gas. Okay, that's the whole email. Wowzers. That's a bombshell. Wow. Sincerely, Robert W. Fennett. How strange. It, it must be one big accident. It, it's, it's a miscommunication. It doesn't prove that Joe was actually involved. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Are you that fucking stupid? You're a dumbass if you don't think that Joe Biden rapes babies. You don't, you don't think he cuts their throats open and drinks the blood that falls, flows from them. Are you kidding me? Like... That's what I'm getting from this. Instead of hearing something and being like, okay, rich guy does rich guy shit, whatever. He's like losing his fucking mind, dude. I know, right? Someone typed his name in an email once. 
like I said, he wasn't vice president at the time. He wasn't president at the time. And he wasn't even the guy selling anything. Unless we get more about this, right? Like, oh, well. What do you take us for? All of these accidents just keep happening. Let me show you my favorite. Whoopsie. Is he not going to finish the article? No fucking way. You got to finish the article, bruh. Bruh, he doesn't. He doesn't fit. No way. Oh, no. Okay, he's going back to it. I thought straight up he was going to fucking just skip the article there. Okay. All right. We'll go back to it. To discuss the purchase of the five. All right. Sincerely. Losing his mind. $1,000 a month in rent. False. What do you take us for? What do you All take of us these for? accidents what? just keep happening. For? Let me show you my favorite. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Perfect. Document shows that Hunter Something Biden else, paid Joe Biden $50,000 a month in rent. False. Why? Well, as it turns out, PolitiFact purports that someone told them, mind you. This is wrong. The figure in question, 49910 matches the quarterly rent for office space at a house of Sweden, home to the Swedish and Icelandic embassies on K Street in Washington, D.C., Business records show that an office for Rosemont Seneca Advisors, an investment firm co-founded by Hunter Biden, was located there. House of Sweden pointed us to a spokesperson for Sweden's National Property Board who confirmed to PolitiFact that Hunter Biden paid 49910 in quarterly rent for an office space in House of Sweden. That's... Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. His dad should have Tim pulled out. Oh, oh, fuck. Brutal, brutal. So the House of Sweden is an embassy on K Street in Washington, D.C. Business records show that Rosemont Seneca Advisors, a firm co-founded by Hunter, was located there. So what happened is he wanted to have his office space in the same building as the Icelandic and Swedish embassies. I don't know if Rosemont Seneca, we'll look it up real quick. Rosemont Seneca advisors. Uh, Uh huh. I'm getting a lot of silly shit about it from news sites, but not anything about it in itself. I don't know. It it looks like it says it works through Ukrainian energy. So I mean, I don't know why you'd want to be in the Swedish and Icelandic embassies necessarily, but being in an embassy as a business that does foreign affairs makes sense to me. The forty nine thousand nine hundred and ten dollar amount of rent was actually it actually matched the quarterly rent for the House of Sweden, an office building that Hunter Biden was renting. Well, let me just take PolitiFact at their word that some guy they talked to, that they took him at his word and that proves it. Spare me your garbage. We have a background screening request listing Joe Biden's address, listing a monthly rent amount. First name, Robert Hunter Biden. Bagley Hill Road, Wilmington, Delaware, 19807, some other stuff, 4879 Longborough Road, Laughborough Road, Loughborough Road, Washington, D.C. Company name, Owasco PC. What the fuck? Owasco PC? What fucking company is that?
All right, I'm looking. This is what it would actually look like to do investigative journalism, just like a little bit, like the bare minimum. Oh, bruh, no fucking way. The deal also listed, listed 10 gym and 10 held for the big guy. Joe Biden's brother is Jim. The big guy might have been Jim. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna let it keep, I'm looking for something. Oh my God. Like, it, there's just nothing there's nothing here anywhere all right i cannot find much on a wasco pc other than it used to exist and doesn't anymore all right up to forty nine thousand nine hundred and ten dollars now, by all means, it's entirely possible that Hunter Biden's assistant or whoever wrote it, you think, PolitiFact, put the wrong number down. And they didn't mean to imply he was paying 50 grand for a residence. They just randomly inserted $50,000 that's supposed to go to some office in Washington, D.C. That is What? Where is the issue? Where is the issue here? This looks like normal fucking paperwork. What is the problem? Nothing to do with the background screen request has nothing to do with his apartment. Funny how that works. All right, let's check it. He's on PolitiFact. So we'll go PolitiFact. Hunter Biden. 50,000. See what we get. Okay. So again, unlike Tim, I'm reading the actual thing for you guys. Okay. Because I love you guys. Okay. You're great. Hunter Biden paid $50,000 in rent for an office space in D.C., not to his father to live at Delaware home. Okay, so what, what are we looking at? This is wrong. Figure in question. We saw that. Okay, so let's read the whole fact check. Okay, ready? Days after it was reported that classified documents were found in Joe Biden's office in Washington, D.C., think tank at his Delaware home, conservative commentators launched new allegations about his, him and his son, Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden paid his dad $50,000 a month in rent and home, for the home that housed classified documents. During that same time, Joe Biden claimed less than $20,000 in rent payments per year. An Instagram post. Instagram code. Newsmax! Oh my god! Send them to prison, dude. If they say shit like this, I'm sorry. If you're a journalist and you're putting shit like this out that's fucking provably fake, you deserve time in jail, okay? Fuck you. Holy shit. That is ridiculous. You don't get to do that shit. Because it's, it's literally fake from the beginning. It's $50,000 a quarter to begin with. Tucker digs up bombshell documents proving Hunter Biden rented top secret documents stolen by Joe Biden. Donald Trump Jr. posted on Facebook featuring a post by conservative commentator Benny Johnson alongside a clip of Fox host fucking Tucker Carlson. These posts are inaccurate and were flagged as part of Facebook's efforts to combat false news and misinformation on its feed. The rumor took off after Carlson ran a segment on January 16th about newly surfaced background screening Hunter document that Hunter Biden purportedly filled out in July 2018 as a part of applications for rental property in California. It appears to contain some errors. We couldn't confirm whether it was Hunter who filled out the form on July 27th 2018, but emails shared online by a former Trump White House aide suggest Hunter Biden's former assistant completed the form for him. So it's Trump's sources that say his assistant did it. So now fucking that means that if fucking Tim Pool wants to say, hey, I don't believe that. That's fake. It didn't happen. It was it was actually Hunter. It wasn't his assistant. Like you're contradicting Trump's White House. 
The date of an email titled background app matches the date the form was signed. It also shows a separate email Hunter Biden appears to have sent inquiring about a rental in California. No matter who filled it out, the document does not show that Hunter Biden paid his father $50,000 in monthly rent to live at the family's Wilmington, Delaware home. The figure in question, 49910 matches the quarterly rent for an office space in the House of Sweden. Right, we saw that. House of Sweden pointed to us to a spokesperson for Sweden's National Property Board who confirmed to PolitiFact that Hunter Biden paid 49910 So they spoke to a spokesperson for Sweden's National Property Board. This, If this is true, then, like, the Swedish government will have to fucking... Like, if, if this is a lie, if someone from the Swedish government straight up said like yeah he paid us and then he didn't there are people in sweden that are going to get prosecuted right this is going to be like a big global scandal the spokesperson also confirmed the lease start and end date which matches the start and end date on the form new york post reporter miranda devine who was one of the first to share the documents online made an updated post after rumors surfaced suggesting it showed rental payments to his father Caution, re, wild speculation. This was for Hunter Biden's application for an apartment in a hip Hollywood complex he was desperate to get into. Big noting by big noting by falsely claiming to own his dad's house in Delaware. The rent may refer to the 50k he paid for his office at House of Sweden. Our ruling. Conservative commentators and social media posts claim that Hunter Biden paid Joe Biden $50,000 a month to live in the same Delaware home where classified documents were found. This is wrong. The figure refers to the quarterly... So yeah, so he paid a business the correct amount that matches the amount it would cost for a quarterly amount. The business says he did it. The business says he was there using it. So like, th there's no conspiracy. It's, it's just, like, it, that's it. He did the thing he said he did. Holy fuck. Tim, my guy. Oh, and now he's like, you just expect me to believe the, the the business that's running. You expect me to believe that Sweden is following international law. You expect me to believe that. PolitiFact says we talked to a guy who assures us that number does match the amount of rent paid for an office building. And who the fuck was that guy, Tim? Who the fuck was that guy? Who was it? I can tell you who it was. It was the guy that runs the fucking business. I couldn't imagine, dude. Like, they they straight up, the conservative side, Tim Pool specifically, because I covered this shit, specifically believed the fucking dude from New York that was like, uh, yeah, even though I'm so blind that I can't see anything and that I, I have to get surgery to get my eyes fixed and I'm a known Trump supporter, uh, Hunter Biden walked in with two government issued laptops and just left them with me and told me, uh, I could, I could look through them if I wanted to. And that's where all the fun, the, the Hunter Biden files came from. Like they straight up believed him on that one. They're like, yeah, no, that, fucking checks out but this time politifact asks the business itself hey is this how much it costs to rent quarterly here yes was hunter biden renting quarterly here yeah and he's like you expect me to believe that yeah what yes you're right. That's it. The issue is that I'm not just look I'm just I'm not looking hard enough at it. I need to look harder at it. I need to Look harder at it. That ain't evidence. The evidence we do have is that Hunter Biden signed a document that says he paid 50 grand for rent at a private residence. Okay. Wait, that's not, oh, okay, no, okay, I see, I see where it is, the previous, gotcha. But false, you say, it's always just some coincidence, it was a mistake, it was administrative error, this is what happens, oh, no, 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 they didn't mean that Joe Biden was actually on the call, he meant Jim, he wrote Joe on accident. 
How many times does some psychotic story need to happen where they keep saying it's a coincidence, it's a mistake, it's an accident? Sorry, I don't buy it. Hunter Biden was on the board of Burisma. This man is so angry all the time about everything. I like it's it's wild to me to get yourself this whipped up and riled up over some fake shit that's not happening. I I just wow, man. It's OK. He gets me riled up, too. So I guess I get it. Uh, a Ukrainian energy company tied up in the whole fiasco. Gazprom, a Russian natural gas company, is sending natural gas into Europe through Ukraine. It controlled a large portion of natural gas into Europe, and it was very expensive. The U.S. wanted to offset this. I shouldn't say the U.S., but NATO. By building the Qatar Turkey pipeline, Syria said, no, we're not going to let you do it because Russia is our ally and they make money off of Europe. Surprise, surprise, a civil war erupts. We oppose Assad. Surprise, surprise, amid all the conflict, Burisma, an energy company, pops up in Ukraine with Mykola Zlachevsky as the founder and Hunter Biden, who has no business doing deals in Ukraine, doesn't speak the language, all of a sudden is on the board of directors, along with a former CIA director. Coincidence? No, it's it's not a coincidence. And I think anyone that says it's a coincidence is also a lying dipshit. Um, no, they wanted to garner public support by having a well-known uh, American prospect working for them. It's it's really straightforward. Whether or not Joe Biden did anything bad, like imagine just I'm looking to build good relations with the U.S. who are opposing my enemies, right? The U.S. is opposite my enemy, the enemy of my enemy, okay? The president's son of that country is a free agent who's been a CEO before, okay? If I can snag him for the board of directors, it will be easier for me to garner support from that country if my enemies attack. And you know what happened? They did attack. So this is just how geopolitics works. This is just how it works. I'm sorry, Tim. This is your first time being introduced to how the world exists. But uh, there's no conspiracy. It's just how the world works. Just how it works. I don't think so. Then Joe Biden comes in and says, if you want the billion dollar loan guarantee, fire the prosecutor, Victor Shokin. Shokin, who happened to have about a dozen open investigations into Burisma and Michael Zajewski, all of a sudden is now being fired because Joe Biden demanded it. He was in False. That's fake. That's fake news. He's saying fake news. Joe Biden wasn't the only one that demanded it. Uh, there were demands from basically every NATO member, right? Every NATO member, essentially. Like if we look, uh, Ukraine prosecutor Uh, sorry, I, I know this this part's boring because I'm looking for something, but you know. Uh, uh, Okay. Victor Shokin was fired as UK, Ukraine's prosecutor general in March 2016 after less than 14 months in the post. It was seen as a crucial development. No thanks. All right, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking.
All right, looking into the Burisma case. Trump and his allies have repeatedly repeated their claim in the recent days amid reports that the U.S. president pressured Ukraine's new president, Zelensky, to open an investigation into the Bidens during a July 25th phone call that he was impeached for. Same call. The call came as Kiev waited almost $400 million in Pentagon. Yeah, we know, we know. Got that. Citing three unnamed senior U.S. administration officials, the Washington Post, on September 23rd, Trump had told his citing active chiefs at least, okay, all right, holding this, the assistance package. We're familiar with that. So let's see. Come on. It said the Burisma incident. So where is, come on, what are we doing? Just talk about it. For one thing, Ukrainian prosecutors and anti-corruption advocates were pushing for an investigation into the dealings of Burisma and its owner, Mikola, Mikola Zlochevis, Zlochevsky. Zlochevsky. Said the probe had been dormant long before Biden leveled his demands. There was no pressure from the, anyone from anyone from the United States to close the case against Z Zlochevsky. Zlochevsky. Weird name. Vitaly Kosko, who is the deputy prosecutor general under Shokin, is now the first deputy prosecutor general, told Bloomberg in May. I was shev shelved by Ukrainian prosecutors in 2014 and through 2015. He had activists say the case had been sabotaged by Shokin himself. As an example, they say two months before Hunter Biden joined Burisma's board, British authorities had requested information from Shokin's office as a part of an investigation into alleged money laundering by Zlachevsky. Shokin ignored them. Kalinyuk and Antak published a detailed timeline of events surrounding the Burisma case, an outline of evidence suggesting that three consecutive chief prosecutors of Ukraine First, Shokin's predecessor, then Shokin, and then his successor worked to bury it. Ironically, Joe Biden asked Shokin to leave because the prosecutor failed to pursue the Burisma investigation, not because Shokin was tough and active with the case, Colin Yuk says. Hmm. Weird. It's almost like what Tim Pool says is factually wrong almost all the time. Crazy. So no. That didn't happen. Joe Biden didn't tell him to, like, step down because he was looking into Burisma. Burisma was looked into a long time before Hunter Biden even was stepping into it. So investigate a company where Hunter Biden worked. Joe Biden. I'm not saying Joe Biden did it because his son worked there, but he did come to me and tell me it's a coincidence again. And I, I will. I say good day, sir. I'm done listening to your psycho babble conspiracy theories conspiracy theory he ignores everyone involved dude everyone involved everybody that is not tim pool has no right over what tim pool thinks in this situation like right now there are people there are prosecutors there are fucking foreign dignitaries telling him that he is wrong and he's like i don't believe you i don't believe you like it, it's insane dude and he thinks like, we're stupid for believing the vast majority of people that all could serve life sentences if they're lying. Let's break this down. Let's, Let's break, break down what this down. means. Let's do it. An email shows that Joe and Hunter were working together to sell energy in the United States to China. I don't care if it's nefarious or not. The fact is he did. Joe lied, saying I didn't have any business dealings. Are you going to come to me and say- He said he didn't have business dealings during the time he was vice president. Wh what? Okay, all right. Say this email's a mistake, it never happened. Then why does it keep happening that there are documents connecting Joe with Hunter's business dealings that we know Hunter Biden was paying the family expenses according to his own messages. That he says, dad makes me give him my salary. That he's, he's purporting on a document to give $50,000 a month in rent for his dad's property. But whoopsie, it was a typo. He actually meant something else. And Tim Pool is like a rabid dipshit. Like his brain doesn't work and he's angry about it. It's crazy, dude.
this is wild watching him scream at his microphone like this for this amount of time about stuff that he's making up on the fly jesus every single time something happens the mainstream media the narrative shifts and says it was all one big misunderstanding joe lied directly and what does the media say they say he didn't actually lie here's what he really said shut up i'm not playing these <laughs> Uh, actually, sir, if you look at the thing he actually said, he, he didn't tell a lie because he didn't say the thing you're saying he said. Shut up! I'm not listening anymore. Like, he's unhinged, dude. It's crazy. Games anymore. Matt Taibbi did the reporting. Victor Shokin, the prosecutor in Ukraine, did have open investigations into Burisma where Hunter Biden worked. Joe Biden illegally went to the president and said, if you want a billion dollars. Slander. I fucking hopes, I wish someone would fucking do it to him. I wish someone would sue him for slander. Because that is literally false. You cannot say it is illegal. Like saying illegal at the beginning of this. You can't do that. It has not been proven illegal. And until it has been, you are, you are literally lying to people dollars in loan guarantees from from the United States fire the prosecutor or else right, okay. he does not have the authority to withhold congressionally approved loans they accuse Trump of that I'm sick of this they're lying now maybe you want to come true. to me and say people Tim, probably don't give a shit about this Tim. is all about US interests I in do. the region and protecting sad. our assets and strengthening Europe oh is that so then why is Joe Biden selling energy to China you, because it's a lie. Great question. Because Joe Biden saw the Titanic hit the it. iceberg and says, strip it from all the metals you can. This is what I mean. Like, he's he's going fucking hard here, dude. And he he's not reading the fucking article. Like, I'm still waiting for him to get back to it. And, and he's working with American. So prove it. Read the article first, then go on your screen. Right? Little tidbits here and there are fine. But, like, don't. Don't fucking like go on eight minute fucking tangents. Like he's read. If we're looking at this, he has read what? Uh, exactly three paragraphs. All right. We are 13 minutes in to his video and he has read three paragraphs. Just think about the priming. Like without him screaming into his mic about how evil hunter biden is someone would read this and come to a decent conclusion and be like oh okay well that's kind of shitty that you're selling energy to china or whatever i mean you shouldn't probably shouldn't be doing that but you know i mean i guess it wasn't illegal oh well but like instead you get his insane ranting the whole time and because he's going the fuck off you just believe whatever he says you ignore the fact that the article doesn't support anything that he's saying because he's already said it and you've been primed to believe it or gtfo gtfo let's read yeah let's, they say well please. it's possible that rouge lawyer robert fennett mistyped joe instead of jim oh whoop -dee whoa another coincidence other emails and whistleblower testimony suggest Joe was involved in Hunter's business dealings with the Chinese. He literally couldn't get through a sentence. A single sentence. The sentence says, while it is possible that the Baton Rouge lawyer mistyped Joe, other emails suggest that's not the case. That was the whole sentence. Is it possible? Sure. Probably not likely. That's the sentence. And this man couldn't get through that sentence without going, ew, 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 ew. Like, what are we doing? This is one of the most watched political commentators in the history of humanity. Like, why are we alive? Why do humans exist? Jesus. The White House did not respond to comment. In emails with Fennett, Jim emphasized that the Biden family's involvement in the project. Quote, we Bidens often fraught with problems that they can come from working with family members are of a different mind. I don't know what that means, but it sounds gibberish. It's all about family and people we choose to do business with. Business with. He wrote to Fennett on October 19th of that year. The call Fennett was setting up for the Biden family was with Chernier, a Texas energy company or Chernier, whose executives have close links to Joe Biden. The president hired former Chernier board member Heather Zykal 
as his campaign climate advisor in 2020 and former lobbyist and vice president Ankit Desai was Joe's political director in 05. Fennett laid out one proposal in his liquid natural gas deal with the Bidens and their Chinese partners in an email October 20th, 2017. Okay. Laid out a proposal with the Bidens and their Chinese partners in 2017. Joe Biden, not the vice president, not the president. Hunter Biden, not the vice president, not the president. So what's going on? Fill, fill me with your intelligence, Tim. Give it to me. I want to walk you through it. Let's go. Are you Le not going to? No fucking way. The Arab way. gas pipeline project makes it possible to bypass Russia and avoid the long liquid natural. He's not going to read it. He's not going to fit. Okay. We're finishing the article. He's so fucking dishonest, dude. He did this shit the other time. I forget which one we were looking at. But like he said some dumb shit and then the next like the next paragraph, the paragraph he stopped at, the next paragraph said something else. I think it was when we were looking at the um we were looking at the whole like if you don't get your COVID vaccine, you're more likely to get in a car accident. And like he was like, Look at this, you know, a study says this, 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 and then like he ignores everything else, right? Like everything else and goes on a rant with his buddies for like 40 minutes or whatever. And then the next page debunks what he's about to say. I, I, it's wild, man. Honestly, someone being called one of the biggest political commentators seems like an insult. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit there. <laughs> oh, I fit in that category though. Oh man, what am I doing with my life? Granted, I'm not a big one. I'm 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 one of the smallest political commentators. Oh, all right. A Louisiana-based lawyer on the side. Okay, so this is what we saw right there. And then we go down. This is where he stopped. Fennett laid out one of the proposals for his liquid natural gas deal with the Bidens and their Chinese partners on an email on October 20th, 2017. The Ashton Fennett and Sons Construction Company Incorporated will, in a joint venture with Louisiana Company, provide a 25-year natural gas uh, LNG supply to your group, he wrote. We can begin supplying LNG in 2018 at the rate of 3, 4, or 5, 3, 4, 5, or 6 metric, million metric tons of liquid natural gas on a five-year basis. From year 5 until year 25, we will have the capacity to supply 13 million metric tons per annum of liquid natural gas to the port in China to be decided. If your client will purchase a 25 year stream of liquid natural gas, I can build the plant for $12 billion. Following the month, Hunter wrote a letter addressed to the CEFC chairman, Yi Jiangming, Jiang Ming saying that the deal would provide large quantities of liquid natural gas at very competitive rates while also advancing the long-term goals of the CEFC through the partnership or acquisition of a promising LNG terminal project in Louisiana. The first son added that he was making inquiries regarding arranging a meeting for you with the chairman of Chenier. Chenier. That month, Chenier, Chen Chernier, Chernier, that's, that's it, Chernier. That month, Chernier signed a long-term deal with another Chinese energy firm, Chinese, China Natural Petroleum Corp, to supply, that's CNPC, so CEFC, to supply gas to China during then-President Donald Trump's state visit to the country. Ooh. Hunter and Jim's venture with CEFC eventually collapsed after Yi and... His right hand Patrick right hand man Patrick Ho were arrested for bribery and corruption offenses, though not before they poured over ten million dollars into their joint venture with the Bidens. So from Fennett, as Richard reminds us, every day is a blessing. As your grandfather said, it is time to draw blood. Do you remember the cartoons called Snuffy Smith? What did he say? Time's a wasting. It was great meeting you, along with your son, you son. We Bidens often fraught with problems that they can come with working. They can come from working with family members are a lot are of a different mind. 
It's all about family and the people we choose to do business with. I'm looking forward to a great business relationship along with some fun along the way. Hoping you can make New York City on Thursday, getting off a joint enterprise ASAP. The boys have the luxury of time. We, on the other hand, are on a different clock. All kidding aside, the synergies feel right. Let's go to it. Warm personal regards, Jim. Sent from his iPhone. Dear Jim, it was a great pleasure to meet you in New Orleans today. I enjoyed hearing all of your stories. I'm enclosing some information about Port Cameron, which I hope you'll find interesting, along with my contact details, which are set out below. We look forward to working with you on matters that we discussed. By copy of this letter, I'm confirming to Richard Leob that we made contact. P.S. Could you send me Hunter's contact details? These young whippersnappers don't carry cards because they're so old-fashioned. Okay. Uh -huh. A wide-reaching political commentary isn't exactly a good sign. It's like casting a wide net with extra wide holes so you catch a large number of catches, but anyone with a functioning brain can leave. Yeah, that's probably true. I guess being like a moderately sized uh, political commentator probably means you've got the best takes, right? Because then like people with brains can stay and, you know, they won't slip through. That's the way. In emails with Fennett, Jim emphasized the Biden's family's involvement with Chinese project. We Biden's often for, okay, so same thing. That's the third time they've mentioned. Dear Jim, I write to make a proposal that we provide for you Hudson West Group the following. The Ashton Fennett and Sons Construction Company, Inc. will in a joint venture. Okay, so we already read through all of that. So this is just them doing all of this again, showing that. Now, this one looks different. I hope you and your family are well. I look forward to seeing you at your home in New York next week. I have much to report regarding our partnership here in the U.S. My uncle and myself are grateful for your wisdom of including Kevin and Mervin in this endeavor. We all have been working hard to make our new company a great success. To that end, I hope that you have received the information I sent regarding the LNG opportunities in the state of Louisiana. We began to investigate the opportunities in the United States well before public announcement by the Chinese government of its interest in natural gas imports from around the world. I specifically want to speak about a framework by which our partnership can cooperate and operate in the natural gas business. This framework would fill the short-term needs of CEFC by providing off-take contracts for large quantities of liquid natural gas at very competitive rates while also advancing the long-term goals of CEFC through a partnership or acquisition of a promise of acquisition of a promising liquid natural gas terminal project in Louisiana. The proposal I have shared with you has the added benefit of being f good for both the United States and China simultaneously. I was hoping that we would see each other later today in Shanghai, but I fully understand the fluidity of our schedules. Nevertheless, time is of the essence. Therefore, I suggest with all due respect that you send your team of LNG and infrastructure experts ahead of you to New York and Houston or the proper partner or, pr or the proposed partner in this deal could send his team to Shanghai in the immediate. They could begin to do the due diligence process and possibly have a completed report f before you arrive. Then we could at least we could use at least part of our meeting in New York next week, making decisions and executing rather than explaining and debating the proposal. Please let me know your decision regarding this. Your earliest convenience and trust your judgment will be wise regardless of the direction you choose to steer us. Finally, I am making inquiries regarding arranging a meeting for you with the chairman of Chernier. I will let you know as that develops. Safe travels and best wishes, my friend, Hunter. President Biden has repeatedly denied ever, being, ever even discussing his son's foreign business dealings, but evidence from whistleblowers and documents from Hunter's abandoned laptop suggests otherwise. Abandoned laptop. Oof. Not something to take serious. James Gillier... Hunter's business partner in his joint venture with Chinese with the Chinese wrote a 2017 email suggesting 10% of the equity to be held by H for the big guy, right? On other emails, the laptop referred to Joe Biden as big the big guy. Again, the laptop stuff is literally fake, so no big deal. Another business partner, Tony Bobulinski, has claimed he even met with Joe to discuss Chinese the Chinese deal and provided text messages as evidence. In one group text conversation with partners Gilliar, Bobulinski, and Biden 
family friend Rob Walker, Hunter brought up the opinion of my chairman on aspects of their deal. Walker then texted Bobby Linsky on the side when he said his chairman was talk he was talking about his dad. In another text to the businessman, Gilliar wrote, don't mention Joe being involved. It's only when you are face to face. I know you know that, but they are paranoid. Joe left a voicemail on Hunter's phone in 2018 showing he did discuss Hunter's Chinese deal with his son. A backup of the phone with the voicemail was left on Hunter's aban <laughs> abandoned laptop. POTUS called Hunter on December 12, 2018, saying he wanted to talk to him after regarding the New York Times story about Hunter's dealings with CEFC. The Times 2018 story pointed out CEFC's chairman, Ye, had been arrested in China. His top lieutenant, Ho, had been in convicted for the U.S. in the U.S. for bribing African... African officials to help uh, Iran evade oil sanctions? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wowzers. It revealed that Ye had met with Hunter at Miami Hotel in 2017 to discuss a partnership to invest in American infrastructure and energy deals. Don't mention Joe. Only when you're face-to-face. -face. Okay, so this is the evidence of that stuff. All right, let's hear it. Hey, pal, it's dad. It's 8.15 um, on uh, Wednesday night. If you get a chance, give me a call. Not, nothing urgent. Just want to talk to you. I thought the article, at least the thing on online, is going to be printed tomorrow in the Times. was good. I think it's clear. And uh, anyway, um, if you get a chance, give me a call. I love you. Uh... There was nothing. You don't have to leave the area. There was nothing at all criminal in that entire statement. Okay. All right, Tim. You're something else, man. After seeing the story online, Joe called Hunter and left a voicemail. Right. Emails on Hunter's laptop show he was planning to set up a Washington, D.C. consultancy with his father after he left the White House in 2017. Hunter discussed the proposed firm in November 2014 email with his business partner and Biden family friend Jeff Coop, a lawyer and entrepreneur Daily Mail previously revealed. The site also revealed that former FBI director Louis Free, who represented a criminal Romanian property tycoon alongside Hunter, spoke with Joe while VP while the VP was still in office about the Biden father and son joining his consultancy firm in 2017. So again, even if we take everything, we just believe everything that he's been doing these deals. None of it happened while he was vice president, even according to this article. That's why Tim has had to go out of his way to prime his audience to believe that it was happening while he was. Oh, shit. I was doing that on the wrong screen. I'm sorry, guys. I was looking at his. Uh. This, uh, right here, this thing. You can see all of this. I was reading that out. Sorry. Tim Pool fries my brain bad, guys. He fries it bad. But yeah, this is what I was looking at. You can see all of this. Hunter discussed the proposed 2014. So like, yeah, this article, the one he was reading from, goes on to say like, yeah, Joe probably had something to do with, you know, the stuff that's about it again none of it while he was vice president and if it is if there is something going on arrest him that's fine but like don't conspiracize about it to try and get it done just investigate it and if there is in fact definitive shady dealings arrest him put him in prison i don't give a damn right same with trump same with Bush, same with Obama. I don't give a damn. Whoever it is, put him in prison. I don't care, right? But like, don't don't go on these long reaches and screes trying to figure out like how the fucking like the little pieces of string on the wall connect. You know what I mean? None of this is pr like none of the stuff he's been saying is proven. Most of it is demonstrably false, like just straight up incorrect. And like Again, I don't mind if it turns out Joe Biden is uh, a criminal because I'm not a big fan to begin with, but like, come on. 
just just do it legit all right if you stop throwing everything at the wall when something actually comes through it's more likely to stick but if everyone's always screaming about how this person or that person did some criminal shit all the time no one will take it serious ever it's like these people haven't ever heard the boy that cried wolf story you know what i mean but i think that's it uh he's not going back to the article to look at the rest of it he's just going to go on explaining like Joe and Hunter work together to take oil out of the veins of young children or whatever. <laughs> so uh, we're going to leave Tim Pool there and we're going to move on. All right. Love you, Tim. All right. You're a great human. Please. Petrol gas tanker journey from you. <laughs>